is very true. Give me all the things. Okay, so... why the fellas is mad at us we can used to do better so i was talking to one of my homegirls not too long ago and she tells me she's met the perfect guy right she's like he's great he's handsome um great job all of that right oh nobody's perfect of course but standard wise preference wise he met everything so then Later on, she tells me and she's like, oh, I dubbed him. You know, he's just not right for me. And I'm like, well, what happened? Like, everything was good. Like, you were saying, like, this could have been future hubby. Like, it, like you was damn near on the right track for everything. Like, he was just matching up. You know what this woman tells me? She says, his car is old. And I say, okay, what, what does that mean? That, what does that mean? She's like, well, he's been in his career for 10 plus years. He should have a brand new car. He should have something from this year. Like, why don't you have a more expensive car? Sis, sounds like he doesn't have a car payment. Sounds like he doesn't have um a extra seven, eight hundred dollars that he has to spend a month or how much ever a car payment is. It sounds like he's saving up money. What's the problem? Does it work? Does it have an auxiliary cord? Does it have heat and air conditioning? That's all I really care about. Do the windows go up and down? Has it passed the inspection? That's really all that counts. But you're worried about it being an old car? Really? You're gonna pass him up because his car is old? Just little shit like that that explains why these men are sick of us. Cause you could have a perfectly good guy with a good career. He takes care of himself. You know what I'm saying? Like. I everything that you could ask for and it's just it's just not enough but it's women like me that will love on y'all i just want to let you know that okay we are out here stop paying attention to the materialistic women that's the only thing i can say to you man <laughs> you dating a guy put him in order would you prefer if you if you were dating a guy put him in order would you prefer to date a scammer a drug dealer or a regular nine to five guy Drug then what? Scam. Then what? Then bad. Only been love. All right. Uh, the scammer uh -huh. and a drug dealer. Uh -huh. Then that right. So why the drug dealer first? Scammers be You finna get, get both of their ass kicked out of this interview. <laughs> so why the drug dealer got number one spot? Why he the number one drop pick? I just Ain't like no money them. in drug dealing. Yeah. That's it. Would you please? This is my interview. <laughs> right. I'm just telling you, you're going for the wrong shit. I don't know. Drug dealers are with me. Why, nine to five? Why is the nine to five for both of y'all last? Because, I don't know. That little two, every two weeks, it ain't, it ain't really. Cut it. Yeah, no. Nah. I'm not like, no, nah, I don't got no nine to five. So I feel like if I can get up and do whatever I want, I won't. Five and do the same thing. Get up when you know you. Yeah, when I call. I need a drag dealer and then a scammer, then fuck the nine to five. I want the scammer first, then the drug dealer, then the nine to five. They like the fast money over here. One thing you can never get me to do ever in life is get an Airbnb in another country. We're all in this Trust me when I say, get y'all a man that can dance. Get you with some rhythm. Because if he got a rhythm outside of the bedroom, sis. <laughs> if a woman ever mentions anything about an unblocking fee, she's used to having tricks. So nine times out of ten, she sees you as one. 
The only women who charge fees for access to them are escorts and prostitutes, so. Dating hood dudes is definitely a huge sign of immaturity in women. And before y'all come at me in my comments, I want to say hit dogs holla. And I've been there before, so I'm not judging. I'm really speaking from experience. When I was way younger, like by the time I was 21, I was done with them. But when I was way younger, those are the type of guys that I used to be into. It's a huge sign of immaturity for the simple fact that you have no future with these type of men. Besides the cheating and the lies and all of that, can't have kids with them because kids need structure and stability. They can't get that if their daddy is in and out of jail, if the money is funny. You never know who's coming for the hood dude that you're with. You never know what type of street trouble he's in. So if they're after him, they could be after you too. It's just unsafe and it's unstable. The modern woman state of delusion is really something to behold. Modern women believe that they can go from, I used to do this, and now I don't just like this, and face no consequences for their past actions. And that men should just accept it, no questions asked, and make a wife out of them. Women have such an uncanny, yet stupid way to separate their past accomplishments, with their eligibility of being a future wife, especially when their past is no different from the current state of a streetwalker. This is a woman who spent her best years willingly choosing to get down and dirty with the kind of men who were openly with her for a fun time, and not a long time. More often than not, these kind of men are into shady businesses. If they are not scammers, they most likely work for back alley big pharma. Few of them make an honest living, and by that I mean athletes and entertainers. After these women have their situationships with the Pookies and Ray Rays all throughout their late teens to mid or late twenties, and after they get dumped because, you know, Pookie has moved on to a younger idiot ready to bust it open. Now, with the wall in sight, she is tired of Pookie and Ray Ray and wants a good man. Now because the wall is close, her look is fading and she can no longer catch Pookie and Ray Ray attention, infatuation, and wallet, now she's looking for a sucker. A man she can settle down with, at the condition that he must be able to flip all the bills but does not require her to do anything. This is also the time that you see those modern women flocking in churches and spewing crap like I want to get right with God, get right with myself, and do things the right way. Now, the new man who comes my way must earn it. And she expects you to go like, Wow, good for you. You really are a woman of values. Yeah. Even though, not long ago, she was getting whacked left and right, in cars' back sits, nightclubs' toilets, and giving head in Taco Bell restrooms. And at that moment we have to overlook her past, society will want you to give her a new chance, you know, extend some grace on her, if you can't do that, you are the problem, and society will come down on you and shame the hell out of your ass. How dare you not extend some grace on her? After she has gone from eggplant to eggplants in order to find her true self, she is extending grace to herself so you should do the same. The modern woman believes that, because it is in the past, it is inconsequential. Not only does she believe that, she also requires you to believe that. Well ladies, in case you don't know, there is nothing new under the sun in the past always repeat itself. Men are waking up to your bullcrap. No more bailing you out of your poor decisions. You wanted Pookie and Ray Ray, have at thee, till death do you part. Fellas, you can remove the 304 out of Pookie's bedroom. It does not mean you have removed Pookie out of her mind. Be safe out there. You prefer threesomes with two guys in the cell over two girls and another guy. <clears throat> That's very true. Give me all the things. Okay, so, so so you like trains. That's a train, right? Yes, I like being ran. Yes, I like games. I like being manhandled by several different men at once. If you want to call it being ran, you call it whatever you want. I'm sexually liberated. <laughs> and I'm a okay. goddess, and I deserve to have hands all over my body. <laughs> right. I deserve to be worshipped. Like, why not? I deserve that attention. Sure. All right, so, so, so you like that. Name me. How many people will be in your game? Goddess. Which one? I've already done two. Or, yeah, two. Perfect, you had a perfect thing that you want to set up for yourself. 
how many people and who are the guys that will be in? Because I want to know. I'm getting on to see your business. I would have to do like seven guys. Damn. Okay. I've already done six. Okay. I've okay. done six, I've done ten, and I've done twelve. Okay. Uh, Yo, imagine the amount of copium injected directly into your bloodstream and just infused directly into your brain that has to be there in order to estimate dudes doing this to you is being worshipped because you are a goddess mental gymnastics level over 9,000 but I guarantee you this is the same type of modern woman as sexually free and liberated as she is right now is going to come back around the age of 29 and ask where did all the good men go I'm trying to find a husband but damn there ain't no good damn man available for me I've been in the church I've been praying to God why won't God grant me a man? But gentlemen, do you understand this irrespective of the work that she's been doing within her life? The reason, more than likely, that she is like this right now today is because she is projecting the trauma of never having a father present and available with her throughout her 